Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess. If you are new here, I do a lot of fashion styling videos. Today's video is a styling slash like haul video. If you have been following me for a little bit, then you know that I used to do like a bunch of Zara hauls, but I haven't done so many lately, mostly because I haven't been inspired by their pieces. I haven't like found anything that I really loved, but usually I like to shop there more like in the spring summer because I don't like to spend as much money on my spring summer wardrobe. I just find that they don't last as long as my winter pieces. So that's my winter wardrobe is really where I invest most of my money. So Zara is a great place to shop for like when you want some like newer pieces um, that are still like decent quality, you have to know which pieces to look for. So I'm gonna show you like the materials um, of the ones I chose. But yeah, let me show you the pieces and we can talk through it. So this is the first piece I got. It's like a navy suiting vest. It's in a size small. I've been wanting something like this for a while and I just hadn't found like a good color. I tried like a lighter color from Aritzia and I just didn't really like it. But this navy I feel like suits me more. It's a little bit more masculine. Um, obviously I'm gonna try it on for you all. So it's 67% polyester and then 29% viscose and then 4% elastane. So there is a little bit of stretch in it, all like artificial fabric. So, so my hopes on this like being a forever piece aren't high, but again, I don't think I'm gonna be wearing this like as like a daily piece that I'm gonna go through it that quickly. It's more of like a classic piece that still is like on trend this year, but I feel like this is something because it's more like of a tailored masculine piece I can wear for a long time. This is what the vest looks like on. I wanted to get it so that it would be more of like a top tank top kind of deal versus like an overt vest. And I think it fits perfectly. Like it's not too deep of a V that I feel uncomfortable. And the length is pretty good. I mean, I think I might like it a little bit shorter, but then it could like risk being too cropped and then I would feel uncomfortable. This is the back. So I think this is a really good buy if you are like, interested in trying out the vest trend. This isn't like a super, super trendy piece because it's a classic navy in like a classic tailored suiting kind of vibe. So even like in years to come, you can still have this in your closet, pull it out, layer it under like a cardigan, under another blazer or layer it over a t-shirt and it will still look really cool because it's like just got such like a cool men's wear like vibe to it. So these are the first pair of denim shorts that I got. They're in a size four. I went with sizes up than my normal size because I like jean shorts more baggy um like worst case scenario for me are like tight denim shorts that like are riding up like that's just my worst nightmare these ones are called the new balloon bermuda and they're supposed to be mid-rise and loose fit so these are 100 percent cotton online when i was looking at these i really liked like how the rips were really happy with how the shorts fit in terms of sizing i definitely say size up if you want like this kind of vibe do i love these am i obsessed with them no like i feel like i have something similar in my closet but if you're looking for like a baggy pair of mid wash jeans these ones are pretty good i think these ones are 50 bucks but they look like they could be expensive because they are 100 percent cotton like the detailing distressing detailing is pretty good it does have a zipper fly which i don't mind as much in shorts i feel like there's less fabric hanging so it doesn't like bunch up as much i think the butt is kind of cute no designer logos in the back which is great and i think the length is really good at least for me i feel very comfortable in it this is what they look like with some sneakers this is definitely a look that I would wear on like a normal day basis, but because I feel like these shorts are in my closet already, like I have something like them, I'm going to be returning them. But if you're on the hunt for like mid-rise, loose baggy shorts, these ones are a really good buy. For 50 bucks, 100% cotton, they look a lot more expensive than that. So these ones are the new straight Bermuda. They're also mid-rise. They are straight and frayed, obviously. <laughs> They're straight and frayed at the bottom. So these are 100% cotton. That is something definitely to look for, especially when you're shopping for jeans, Zara jeans specifically, because I find that when you get Zara jeans that aren't 100% cotton, they can they tend to look cheap, especially up close in like the grittiness and the detail of the wash and the distressing. The length is perfect on me. I struggle finding Bermuda pants because they're usually too long and I think that they just like make my thighs look really short, but these ones hit at a really good length. They're still like long enough, but not making me feel short long, if you know what I mean. The frayed hem I think helps with like a little bit of like texture and distraction at the bottom versus just being straight. The pockets on these ones I feel like are a little bit smaller than the balloon shorts. And so they might be a little bit more flattering on the butt as well. So this is a zipper fly, which again for shorts, 
don't mind it as much. So these ones sit a little higher for some reason. They're right under my belly button versus the balloon ones sat lower. They're both called mid-rise, but these ones I would say are definitely a little bit more high-rise. I think I'm going to be keeping these for sure. They're just like super easy shorts that I am missing from my closet. I don't have like a ripped pair of Bermuda light wash denim that I feel this good in. I would definitely say size up because I'm normally size two. These are a size four. Like I might be curious to even try a size six to see like an even baggier vibe, but you do have to remember these are 100% cotton so they could stretch out a bit more. They are quite thick as like a 100% cotton material. So I don't foresee them stretching that much. Maybe I'll let you guys know on IG um if i end up getting a bigger size so these guys are called the carmen pan i actually reordered them in a smaller size i got them in a size small and they were huge like so big so i got an extra small i'm rarely an extra small in zara pants so we'll see if these fit they still look pretty big but they're 100 percent linen so soft and this like beautiful neutral green which i love for summer all right extra small is definitely a lot better as you can see they definitely sit higher rise they're above my belly button right now because they are 100 percent linen they're definitely gonna like stretch and they're gonna drop a little bit which i think is like the vibe of these pants they're supposed to be like super loose and like hangy, if that's even a word. I would get these hemmed, obviously they are quite long, like I'm gonna trip over them. But other than that, I think these are keepers. I really like the color. They're a perfect like green neutral. They don't look like see-through at all, like when I hold them up in front of like natural daylight. I love the button of these pants because they're, it's like so subtle. The pants definitely have like a lower butt pocket. It's not the most like butt flattering pant, but I think that's supposed to be the vibe. I paired them with clogs because I just think they're so fun. <laughs> and last but not least, another pair of linen pants. These ones are like a light beigey color. They seem very see-through, so I don't think like I'm gonna be keeping them. Like first impression, probably returning these because like I can literally see through them. I don't know, you guys can. As I'm holding it up, like I can see right through it. So there's no lining. I also don't like the button here and that just makes it look cheap. I think these are definitely meant to be more like flattering pants. They definitely sit high rise, they have a little bit of a pleating going on so that it like flows really nicely and smoothly like over your hips. And there's only like one pocket in the back here and it's a very subtle one that's like high above the butt. So it definitely gives you a much nicer behind profile than the last pants. I think my style is a little bit more like put together um, versus like chill and casual. I would really like these. It's just missing a little bit of that like cool, like undone factor that I like in my clothes. So I will be returning these, but if you guys like work in like a business, casual, businessy environment, I think these are really good buy. The length is also really good. I wouldn't like need to tailor these compared to the other ones that are quite long. That's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed that Zara haul. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Also, if you have any pieces you want me to review, like whether they're from Zara or another brand, let me know. I am definitely getting back into the hauls. I like feel like I need a wardrobe refresh. So let me know. And I will be linking everything in the description box. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, don't forget to follow and like so you don't miss the next one. And I will see you next time.